movie star. Probably like what an a hole. Hey, I stopped. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with my lifestyle choice of brapping. But we'll see. See if they want to race right now. Questions. So much time. Oh, don't want to go that way, definitely. Damn it. I mean, darn it. I gotta watch my cursing. It's taking over. It's like a kick it park right here or something. Look at that. Taxi Central. Oh yeah, that's where I wanted to go. But I wanted to keep going straight, not make a right turn right there. Uh, but I guess another question is like, where, as far as gas stops go, um, where are the gas stops, like how much is gas? Uh, well, over here, as you pretty much already know, it's like by the, uh, by the liter. So you're paying maybe like up to about a dollar per liter sometimes. Um, sometimes it's a lot cheaper. But I mean it's mainly like I would say 50 cents to a dollar a liter. So gas would be one of the most expensive options when you're just riding your bike around. Uh, as far as gas stops and availability, I mean there's plenty of gas stations everywhere. Unless you start getting into the, like, rural zones where there really isn't any gas stations. And by then you should have at least, like, a motorbike that you can go about a hundred and, I don't know, at least like 120 miles or so before you have to fill up. Uh, you just don't want to end up running out of gas anywhere. I'm pretty sure somebody would help you anyway. But, you know, if you're in a time crunch, if you're trying to get somewhere at night and you're riding into the sunset, you know, you, you kind of just don't want to have to get delayed like an hour or two by having to wait for somebody to bring you gas or having to leave your bike and uh, get gas somewhere. I mean, I don't know. I, I've never run out of gas. I've always been at least like a quarter tank at the lowest and then I fill up. Uh, and then I also carry, usually carry anyway, uh, a reserve on the back of the bike that's like 1.75 gallons that I got over from uh, pmracks.com it's been working awesome I've even helped some people out that got stuck and uh, it, was, it was worth it for them I mean they, they were definitely happy that I had extra gas with me and of course, I'm more than happy to help them out. I mean, I don't think I even charged them for gas because I wouldn't want to be charged for gas. I'm already like, you know, mad and sad that I ran out of gas in the first place. Why would I want to have to pay for some more gas? A bunch of cool buildings everywhere, definitely. And taxis everywhere so if you don't want to ride or spend my gas money or anything definitely just take a, ta a cab or taxi there's like a million of them uh, if you don't know how to get one say you don't have phone service or something 
uh, you could definitely just go to like a hostel and at a hostel they should be able to call a cab or taxi for you easy uh, I know a lot of them do it for free they have their own guy that they get and uh, they basically just like hook you up <laughs> we get scarred. <laughs> it's a pretty cool building right here, though. I always dig it. Every time I pass right by it, at least like twice a day. But as you can see, it's pretty much the same as every other city. bigger cities actually too um, San Jose from what I was told it, it used to not be this big and they kind of like stretched it out to the east which is it for uh, session one of Q&A. We will resume with more in the next episode. It's one way streets get me all the time. <laughs>